Hey, what's going on? I'm Dave Erickson. Welcome back to my Cold Plunge Diaries. I just got done uh, riding an hour on the Peloton, and I wanted to record not only me going through the Cold Plunge and seeing how long I can last. My goal for this one is going to be about three minutes, but I want to record my heart rate, which is connected right now through my Garmin. So that's my current heart rate. The water temperature behind me is 51 degrees in my Cold Plunge. By the way, if you are interested in one, I've got a link below to details about the Cold Plunge and a special offer, 150 bucks off if you use Dave150 in checkout. So if you wanna buy one, you know, a little bonus for you there. Anyway, I'm gonna jump in and see how this adjusts. I'll talk you through it. And also the goal here is to uh, help with recovery, uh, inflammation, uh, de-stress and so on. So here we go, got my watch over there, my clock over there. So I'm going for three minutes in the cold plunge today. Timer has started. Now, last time I did this, I wasn't neck deep. And so it was a little more tolerable. I went uh, four minutes and 40 seconds. Oh no, heart rate is not registering. Damn it. Oh well, I'm gonna stay underneath anyway. Maybe it'll catch back up. Once I get out. My goal with this uh, cold plunging is to prep my body, help out with recovery leading up to my Ironman Arizona race in November 2022. It'll be my sixth Ironman. So I, you know, I did some research into the cold plunge, the benefits, helps uh, increase metabolism, burn fat, also helping with stress, inflammation. So I'm planning on after some hard runs uh, in our heat in the summer, it's currently August, 2022, that this will help with uh, recovery of my legs on some of those longer, harder runs. The bike ride I did today was an hour. I managed, uh, I don't know, 700, 800 calories of burning, burn calories, uh, just under 20 miles, just to give you some stats, not to, just to give you stats. One of the things that uh, makes this cold plunge unit different than a regular ice bath from my, what I've learned is the circulating water. So it's apparently supposed to make you uh, feel colder, help out with uh, making it colder. Either way, it's cold as hell. And I am underneath, neck deep. Yeah, the first time I did this, my neck wasn't under I was trying to keep my feet, my knees under, but now my knees are out just a little bit. This is the basic uh, entry level plunge. There's an XL that's uh, a little bigger, a little longer for longer and bigger people. I'm 5'11". This is just perfect for me. And I set this up in a matter of a half hour. It's pretty impressive. So just the directions were really easy. Filled it up with uh, water from the hose, which at the time was 66 degrees. And in a matter of 12 hours, I saw it dropped down to 51 degrees. And I can set that temperature on um, the cooler behind here. Slowly throughout the, the weeks and months leading up to the race, I'm going to lower the temperature as my time in the cold plunge uh, increases. But for now, maybe the first couple of weeks, I'll stay at uh, 50, 51 degrees. And I did four and a half minutes, 440 the first time. And I don't know how long I've been talking, but uh, I'm shooting for that kind of number moving forward. Maybe shoot for five minutes, three to four times a week, depending on the workout. And people say that if you talk more while you're doing this, the time goes by faster. So that's why I'm kind of having uh, just ongoing talking. I've done five Ironmans, 20 plus half Ironmans, and ice baths and 
compression, massage, uh, stretching, those kind of things have been a, a good recovery method. But I've never done this cold bath technique on a regular basis. I've had some, you know, felt great after a, an ice bath. And sometimes if you don't have, you know, the ice, you don't want to go buy bags of ice, you're not ready to invest into something of this uh, caliber. Even just anything, I think they say, as long as it's under 59 degrees, then you're gonna get some um, recovery inflammation benefits from a cold bath. You can also just take cold showers and see how long that'll last. Again, you got the water flowing over you, that kind of, uh, that kind of motion. So I'm gonna look at my watch now. Oh, awesome, 3.40 again. I'll go ahead and go for five minutes. Uh, my fingers, oh, yep, they're tingling. I don't really feel my toes. I'm not moving my toes. <sighs> Wish I had my heart rate. Maybe it'll jump in once I get out. But I'm surprised at how doable this is. I've seen people, you know, work their way up in time, you know, 30 seconds to a minute, minute and a half, two, three, and so on. Um, I don't know, maybe because I'm used to swimming in cold water sometimes for my races. In fact, my last race, which was the Ironman 70.3 Coeur d'Alene, the water temperature on the day was around 59.60 is what they said, and it felt that cold. It was one of the coldest swims that I've swam in. I was even, I swam even colder in the Ironman 70.3 Boise race uh, five, six, seven years ago. So that should be five minutes. Yep, 5.30, are you kidding me? All right. Oh. I'll stop it at 5.40. Oh. Look at this. The heart rate is actually lower than it was when I started now that it's kicked back in. So maybe that's a, a sign of what cold water can do for you. Oh my God, look at that. I've had to relax. I've had to force myself to breathe slower. And there you go. Wow, pretty nice. All right, hey, that's uh, today's Cold Plunge Diaries. If you're interested in learning more about this, which I highly encourage you to educate yourself as much as possible, you don't have to get the Cold Plunge, but if you want to, I've got a little bonus for my viewers. Uh, Dave150, 150 bucks off if you wanna buy one from their, uh, their website. Just use Dave150 at checkout. I've got links below this uh, video for more information about it. That's pretty good, right? Heart rate has been lowered in the last uh, eight, nine minutes just by plunging. All right, thanks very much, and uh, enjoy your plunge. Adios.